And we'll see Sinclair and Dropkin coming up in our next matchup. And they're sort of in a must-win situation. But let's go back to the match that we just saw here on NBCSN and the duo of Tabitha Peterson and Joe Polo. Very strong from the outset all the way through the seven ends that we watched. And they got that two in the opening end. Uh, very important to get a good start. And here they're measuring actually for a, a second steal. Yellow ended up being just slightly closer to the buttonhole than the red. So it was only a steal of one to put up a 3 nothing lead for Peterson Polo. A bit of a bounce back here with uh, Zezel making the hit and stay to get on the board to make the score 3 to one And in the fourth end, Peterson and Polo added to their lead. They seem to be in control throughout the entire match, but they were only doing it basically one point at a time in the middle ends, and at halftime, they led four to one. That's right. And now a lot of weight being thrown here, and a beautiful shot. That's the angle raised triple Joel Polo makes. And you know, he was really on fire today and made so many of those key shots. And this is a draw against two in the fifth, and that really, really put it away, I believe, for the Peterson and Polo team was stealing two in the fifth end. In the sixth end, Persinger and Zezel used their power play, and they got uh, two to draw to within three points. It was six to three with the power play. The seventh end turned out to be the decider. Yes, and actually a really well played uh, last rock by, by Zezel, having them lying two, but a beautiful double takeout by Tabitha on her last getting a single point and a bit of a surprise. Only four down with Hammer, but uh, have, call, have uh, conceded the game after seven ends. Seven to three, three final the, score. Final score, and uh, Persinger and Zezel would have had Hammer in the eighth, but they thought that four-point margin was too much to overcome, so they conceded.